speakers Zoe Vaux left and Jenny Hammond right. I like the contrast between the slow in my room and the fast hippie hippie shake. Billy continued to perform in the extravaganza shows of Larry Parnes. It was not only his singing voice that impressed the fans, the girls went wild with delight. They screamed louder and louder as he gyrated in a sensual manner. His good luck, singing voice and brilliant stage presentation made him a hit wherever he performed. Billy's influence at this time was Elvis Presley. He copied and accentuated Elvis's sensual moves on stage. In fact, he was banned in Dublin because his act was considered too risque. The show toured extensively and ended in London. Before the end of the tour, Billy had more than proved his worth. He got a better and new contract with Larry Parnes. In November 1958, he recorded his first single. This went straight into the top 20 chart in February 59. It was Maybe Tomorrow, written by Billy himself. It was the first song that he sang at the Larry Parnes audition. Decca Records gave him a seven-year recording contract and more singles were released. A long played 30, 33 RPM record, The Sound of Fury, was released in 1960. This reached the top 20 long player chart and has been reissued in various forms on four occasions. Experts regard it as Britain's finest example of rock and roll, rock and music. Billy had written all 10 songs himself, something almost unheard of until the Beatles came along. Some were credited to Wilbur Wilberforce a name Billy used to avoid Larry Parnes taking commission on his writing. Jesse's Girls will perform to four songs that I have selected. I like the contrast between my Christmas prayer and the screaming fans in That's Alright. <laughs> 